Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dark Fable with an all new deck profile for not only my standard Kagero build that I've been dying to show you guys for the longest amount of time, but also, as you can tell on the mat, I recently went to an ARG, my very first ARG, I would like to point out, and I got to make the top A. Woo! Yeah! All right. So, you know, I'm feeling pretty, you know, pretty proud of myself, but <laughs> anyway, I know you're not here to hear me, you know, go on about <laughs> all that, so let's see if we get started with the profile. So first, start our Undu, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the only one you can run in Kagero right now. We're in Odomon, draw a card, pretty standard. Then I play six crit, three of each, three of each, again, standard. The trigger on him is pretty standard, so, you know, six crit, six draw, four of them being the obvious sentinel, so. <laughs> and then I have four of the heal triggers. I cannot wait for the full art ones. I will have some. Oh, that's going to be fun. Now onto the green ones. I play four embodiment of armor bar. Skill. When placed, counter plus one, soul blast one. Retire one unit in the opponent's... In the same column as this unit was placed on. So, boom. So many command members between left, middle, or the right. <laughs> it's great because, yeah. No, it helps get rid of some of that pesky back row, too. Not just, you know, the front row. And then it also gains 5k. Makes for great numbers for rear guard. And then I also play... 4th Wave My Hope Aramo. Aramo. Sorry. <clears throat> so basically, you know, this thing refuels your resources so fast. It's such a great plus just for killing itself. You can get off when something is retired by battle or effect. I didn't realize that until recently, so... <laughs> Glad I know now. But, you know, this thing is amazing beyond belief. And, you know, it's also a 11k booster. And then we have the grade 1 MVP, Gaius. The big old finisher of the... The one that helps me get my finisher off. Skill. When boosting a grade 3, counter plus 1, move it to the soul. That grade 3 gets a critical. So, you know, that waterfall turn it just applies so much pressure, especially that 3 or 4. They have to guard it. <laughs> then I also play 2 as a soldier, Rapia. He helps give me big numbers for rear guard. He's great behind no matter where you put him. <laughs> I think this thing actually won me my third... Yeah, my third round of my mirror match against another Kagero player. Like, this thing just made so many numbers. It's He couldn't He actually had he couldn't guard at all. Now, this little guy, he's from the trial deck, but... I still say he's pretty useful considering the current format. You know, with Royals just building up their field so freaking fast. And that is Dragon Knight Burge. With his skill, you move it to the soul for a cost of a counter blast, and then you get to retire one of the opponent's triggers if they have four or more, which is good for, you know, defusing that Blaster Blade Rush, or, you know, Nova Rush if they want to go all that. <laughs> and then one of your rear guards gains 10k. So if you combo this with Rabia, instant 15k gain. So busted. <laughs> Now for the grade two, standard four Berserk Dragon, skill counter plus one, soul plus one, pop a you can pop a unit on Vanguard or Rearguard, but if it sits on Vanguard Circle, plus one draw, and if you have more Rearguards than the opponent, plus three. This thing is just the giant stable in this whole deck. It's it's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's pretty great. Then I play four Dragon at Nehome. It's like bar, but it doesn't pay a soul blast, it's just a counter blast, so... But it only pops back row, but hey, that's still pretty good, actually, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of those annoying little boosters. Let's get rid of some of those annoying little boosters. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing this with my, you know, my phone right now, so <laughs> I don't have a tripod right now. And then the remaining grade twos, I play three copies of Spillover. I honestly kind of regret having him in this deck a bit, but at the same time... He did help me in a few scenarios. I just couldn't... <laughs> Most of the time, he was either on my Vanguard or I just couldn't get him in time for, you know, when I needed it. So I'm going to switch him... I plan on switch him out sooner or later. I just... I think I might go for Bellicosity. That might be better. Give me more numbers. Give me my numbers. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting over a bit of a cold right now and, you know, allergies too. <laughs> 
And now finally, on to the remaining, now to the grade threes, the big bosses of the deck. Dragonic Overlord! <laughs> Whew, man. Things great, because, you know, early game pressure for one, two, double crit, just, boom, restand. Oh my god, the numbers on this thing are ridiculous. But yeah, basically, you know, his skill, he's four, so you, he gets the four skiff marker right there. <laughs> I know I sound like a total, you know, <laughs> total, but basically, skill, he can soul blast Vanguard or Rear Guard, and it gains 10k. And then, you know, if it hits the Vanguard during that turn, or as the sack hits, period, actually, Catapult one, discard two cards, restand it, minus one drive. You only. The good thing is, you know, he helps get that force marker set up for your big boss finisher, which I'm about to bring out right now. Dragonic Waterfall. Look at this. This thing saved as, you know, saved me so many times in the in late game. I actually had a double crit off his skill, which is even more amazing in my mirror match. So, you know, skill. When placed, kill a grade 2 or greater. Not so good against Promise Daughter, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, it's the last skill that matters. It's the big skill that matters. Soul Blast, a grade 3 from your soul when it attacks. Plus 10 to crit. No Sentinels. No Sentinels allowed. See? So, yeah. No. Like... All I did was just stack force on top of force on top of force with this thing, and he made so many easy numbers. It was it was just beautiful. I wish I had record in some of my matches that are going on at the tournament. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe next time. And finally, I do play seven markers just, just in case I you know need that little heavy duty pressure. <laughs> but it does help having you know in case you know I just keep riding over and over and over again. <laughs> You know, thank you guys so much for you know uh, tuning into this video. For tuning into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And ho hopefully, I can show you guys more of this kind of stuff later in the future. It's your guy Dark Fable signing out. Later.